Tom Frieden, quite a celebration today within a first wave or a second wave. Simply put, do the masks work on the streets of New York City this morning? Masks are really, really important. Look, if you've got a choice between shutting down your economy and wearing a mask, it's a no-brainer. I talk about the three W's. Wear a mask, wash your hands, and watch your distance. These are the three things we can all do to contribute to restarting the economy. Look around. We're not at the end of the first wave. We've got cases spiking all over the country. We're going to see an increase in cases, increase in hospitalizations, and eventually an increase in deaths from this. It's a really dangerous virus. We're sick and tired of staying home. But the virus is not tired of making us sick. It's still out there. And we have to be more careful. So I think the two most important things is what we can do, that's the three Ws, wear a mask, wash your hands, watch your distance, and especially if you're within six feet of somebody anywhere indoors. And then the government has to do what we call the box it in strategy better. Test isolate, contact, trace, and quarantine. Those four components, those four corners are crucial. Do that, and we can keep the virus in a smaller and smaller space so we can have more space in society. You may have seen an article that came out yeah. yesterday in the New York Times about a disastrous start to New York City's contact tracing program. For some reason, inexplicably, yep. Uh, they moved the contact tracing program from an agency that I used to run that does a great job and has done this for 100 years to a hospitals corporation that's never done it before, doesn't have the experience or legal authority, and guess what? Not going well. And all of us are less safe because of that. And I really hope Governor Cuomo will reverse that terrible mistake that Mayor uh, de Blasio made. Dr. Frieden, that's exactly where I wanted to go, this question of how close we are to opening in a safe way. And this is the question for people who are deciding whether or not to stay working at home with their kids and trying to juggle the homeschool thing or whether to get back to their offices and get back on the subways. What's your sense of that? How close are we? Uh, it's going to be a question of individual decisions. So if you're older, um, or if you've got an underlying health condition, you really want to be very careful. I wouldn't want to be in a packed office uh, if, if I had an underlying health problem. It's still too early, too risky. On the other hand, uh, if you don't have anyone in your household who's medically vulnerable, and that means over age 60, I'm afraid to say, or someone with a problem with their heart, their lungs, their kidneys, uh, then um, if, you, if you don't have someone who's medically vulnerable in your environment, you're safer to go out. But again, the three W's, mask, wash your hands, watch your distance. And what we really are concerned about is large indoor spaces with, with lots of people mixing. Um, and then we really need the government to step up because if you don't have good contact tracing, cases become clusters, clusters become outbreaks, outbreaks become epidemics, and we have to shut things down again.